look at where we're set up we're set up here right on the water and this is going to be our home for the next couple of days i am so excited <laughs> Welcome back to the Big Aussie Adventure. You join us today in Fingalhead, New South Wales, and I'm so excited to introduce you to the new love of my life, Sandy. <laughs> We're set up here right on the water and this is going to be our home for the next couple of days. I am so excited. I can't believe it. We need to swap cameras so I can do, you can do a house tour. Oh yeah, alright. Alright, it's time for one of Pia's totally awesome, super amazing house tours. You forgot to say teeny tiny. Teeny tiny, teeny tiny, <laughs> damn it. This one is definitely teeny tiny. I know we've done a few like tiny homes lately but this one takes the cake. I think this might be the teeniest, tiniest home we've ever been in actually. I know, I love it so much. So this is actually a caravan that you can basically tow around and go on tour with. So this is called Sandy the Vintage Caravan and it is gorgeous have a look it just has like this beautiful little like summery happy vibe i made sure that i like wore something that would match <laughs> but you come in here and basically this is your space you've got this big bed here this is a queen size bed so it's like plenty of room for two people to sleep comfortably and we're gonna enjoy it tonight and look how beautiful this is you've got like these kind of vintage fixtures all the like white kind of coastal theme this beautiful splashback this like, is what i can't get over this is like what you get in a nice like a proper kitchen it's it's yeah. legitimate yeah you've got running water you've got a coffee machine you've got electricity like you're definitely not slumming it in this little place where do you cook oh so there's a little burner like a little burner stove oh cool and you can just put it there and then like cook your food yep and we've got a full-size fridge as well which is super handy so full you, size well full <laughs> size for a caravan yeah. but it's good there is storage everywhere like there 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 this is all storage yeah, right look yeah there's all your little like there's a kettle there and all your little cups and bowls and everything and see how these they all have like a little stopper so you yeah. have to kind of push this in and then open it like that and then you've got your so glasses. So stuff doesn't rattle around when you, uh, when, you when you're driving. And there's also a full wardrobe here, which is great. Yeah. Look but at that. This is nuts. We need to we need to look at the dining room here. Oh, yeah. As you step this way, <laughs> step into my dining room. Ooh. <laughs> this is a super cool layout because you've got two full benches there. They're like really comfy and cushioned. So they're kind of like little sofa lounges, like a little chase lounge. And you can do like work here. You can bring your computer. You can eat, drink, be merry, invite friends over, all that kind of stuff. You could easily fit two people there. For sure. And two people here. This isn't like, this isn't tiny. If I back up a bit. Yeah. Like it's pretty, su pretty sufficient. Yeah, right? Like how cute is this little, imagine a little anti-pasto board. How beautiful is this? This is like a fully tiled table with these like honeycomb tiles and this like lowers down when you need to drive yeah so we actually booked this on Camplify, which is a bit like Airbnb, but for camping. Uh, I think it was 180 a night. Uh -huh. Don't quote me on that, but that's pretty cheap. So the way this works is when you book the caravan, you tell the owners where you want them to put it, which is kind of cool. So this caravan can be anywhere from the Gold Coast right the way down to Byron. And there's loads of spots that they can suggest to you as well if you haven't got an idea. Um, but it's nice because like I haven't got a tow bar on the car but I was still able to come here with the caravan and set up shop. Honestly, and this makes me want to get a tow bar because I really <laughs> want one of these. Yeah, me too. So I'm not sure. I think if you have the appropriate stuff on your car, you could probably tow this yourself. Whether the owner will let you tow it yourself is another story. I'm not sure, you'd have to ask. But yeah, it's a, f it's a full caravan. It's absolutely amazing. What is that? I think that's a stink bug, so uh, <laughs> I'm gonna try and get rid of him very gently because. Are you? Well, is this a man's job? <laughs> I think this is a man's job. I was actually gonna ask you to do it. <laughs> I know you were. <laughs> that's why I grabbed the camera. <laughs> Let's see what they have. In oh no, I've got cupboards. an idea. Glass. And then what? I'm just gonna pop on it on top. And then what? And then. Oh, there we go. Oh! Look at that. 
What a wilderness man. A true Australian. G'day, possums. <laughs> This is winter in Australia. It is literally June <laughs> and it is so warm. It's like 23 degrees and sunny. I just love it. I'm going to be vlogging with a new lens today. Uh, it arrived in the mail from a brand called Fun Leader. It is an 18 millimeter pancake lens. It literally looks like that, which is insane. It doesn't have autofocus. Um, I think it's an f1.8, it is literally, I don't know if you can even see through that, it's just a piece of glass with a hole in it, um, and it's called a pancake lens because it is obviously like a pancake. Um, so this is going to clip on the camera, I figured seeing as we're going to a music festival I would rather just have the body and a small lens rather than the body and my big, big lens over there. So um, yeah, I'm going to try this out, I hope it's good. Alright, let's see how this lens performs. Oh my god, that is so cute. It makes the camera look so much more compact. It seems pretty good. I'm curious to see how this plays out, but right now it looks pretty good. Okay, we just drove to the hotel. We've gone and seen our friends real quick, and now we're actually walking in towards the Byron Bay Music Festival, which I've never been to, but I think it's kind of like this low-key little like local artist music festival, which in Byron would be pretty cool because everyone here has like a very nice, relaxed sort of vibe, and there's a lot of talent. So, so we left Muesli at home this morning, and we've been gone for probably about three hours, and this is how she responds when Petra's gone to pick her up. Look at this. <laughs> we're finally in. It took about 30 minutes, but we're in. Oh, this is cute. Everyone here is like in such a good mood. <laughs> this is the smallest festival I've ever seen. Look. And that's the ocean right there. Only in Byron Bay is a music festival, also a flower shop. <laughs> This might be an upgrade to my regular hat. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know why, but it weirdly suits you. <laughs> I like this a lot. I think I might get it. Is that gold, are the goggles straight? Yeah, you look amazing. <laughs> All right, so we might have just bailed the festival because <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of people in there and for some reason they've only organized one bar. I reckon it would have been at least a 60 minute line. And so I just went, should we just go get dinner? <laughs> <laughs> it's like 5 p.m. the sun's still up. We're yeah. like, actually, let's go and have a nice meal. So we've come to Bang Bang. Everyone probably thinks we're babies for leaving the festival. But this is like warm, there's cocktails, there's good food. My spicy margarita has arrived. We've got chili and salt flakes. An actual piece of jalapeno. It's gonna be real spicy. <laughs> I can smell it from here. It's like <laughs> I can smell the spice. I'm making my eyes water. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got this kingfish, which I think is pretty nice. That is coconut milk, mango puree. Oh, wow. There's lime, and also there's chili there as well. So we're going hard on the chili tonight. I love music festivals so much for the vibe, but I feel like as I've gotten older, I just really appreciate like creature comforts <laughs> and not having to like pee in a portal. <laughs> That's a good one. That's <laughs> very, very high on my agenda now is how good are the toilets? Yeah. Like, I would pay a lot extra to get nice toilets. Yeah. 
exactly. Over anything else. I don't care if I have to stand in line. I don't want VIP treatment. I don't want anything. I just want a nice, warm toilet. <laughs> warm? You know. <laughs> That someone's just left. <laughs> oh, not like that. Just warmed up as in like, you know you can get expensive toilets that like warm you from within. Yeah. <laughs> so, Kane is a half English and half Malaysian. For yep. those of you who don't know, which means... It means that I've got bad breath and I'm <laughs> in bed. <laughs> I'm a connoisseur when it comes to good roti. Yes. And I think this is the best I've ever had. Including my time in Malaysia and Singapore. This is amazing. <laughs> Well, that was a good call all in all, I think. That was um, warm, good food, good cocktails. I'm feeling very happy and satisfied. And now we're gonna drive back to our van. I think we should probably end the vlog here uh, yes. in the middle of the road. Yeah, we should probably either get off the road or end the vlog. Maybe we'll just end Let's the vlog. get off the road and then end the vlog. All right, we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye guys, we'll see you on the next video. Mwah.